Welcome to Crazy Towns. Ten minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's start the timer. But ding TNT. Uh, so there was a wreck on uh, the freeway. The freeway is I-40. I'm not sure what area that is in. Uh, but so and they had a, a news helicopter. Like it was like kind of a semi jackknife and had product on it, and it like spilled out all over the freeway. I think that's the one I got caught up behind, Jonas. I was coming home from work. No, I four. I, it's not in Austin. I oh. thirty five. Oh, okay. But, uh, but uh, so anyway, so like it's funny because there's like a news clip of like the guy in the helicopter is like, oh yeah, down here we got a big mess. Blah blah blah. And the lady, the lady that's in the studio is like. Okay, Ted, you know, if you can zoom in, what's on the ground down there? And as he zoomed in, it was a bunch of dildos and lube that the truck was carrying that spilled out all over across the across the freeway. It's like straight out of a comedy movie, right? <laughs> right? Like a cheesy 90s movie, but it was real life. Like, it's like straight out like, like an early Dave Chappelle, like Adam Sandler movie or something. Right. And I was just like... Dude, how you're the guy? You're the truck driver driving the dildo truck around, and you're gonna you're gonna jackknife and spill all the dildos all over the freeway. Uh, dude, that sucks. Dude, I don't even think they know what they're carrying half the time. They're just like, no, load, load it up. Tell me where I'm going. It, I mean, that's where I think I think they show up with their cab, and then they just they back into the the trailer and they just go. Yeah. That's, that's really yeah. it. What I mean, I guess they have to be told if it's like chemicals because they have to put those those things on them and stuff if, yeah if but it's like, chemicals or if it's like something that needs to be refrigerated or something like yeah that, but yeah. if it's just dry dry merch like they don't know if it's <laughs> well it wasn't dry after all the lube leaked yeah, all yeah. over them. <laughs> <laughs> a slippery situation over here on i-940 today guys <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah yeah um semi trucks jackknifing have you ever, uh, have you ever seen a, a trailer, tra like a truck trailer accident? Like, uh, well, you know what? The reason I thought that this was the one that I encountered is because just recently I got stuff. Like a fifteen minute drive for me to get from home to work or work to home it took me an hour and a half to get home, and it sucked. And it was all because a semi didn't realize that it couldn't go under the bridge, and it freaking jacked. Oh, it, so. dude, he hit a bridge. Mm -hmm. Woo! Ooh, that kills a man. Yeah, I saw it on Reddit like uh, later that day. I was like, "Yep, this is what I got caught Dude, up in." Dude, yeah, because if you uh, I'm half of Austin. Yeah, because yeah, if you're if you're going like seventy and your truck just stops, yeah, even if you got a seatbelt on, that's breaking your clavicles. That's Yo. that's hurting your ribs. Who who has to pay for that? Because you know it's not the trucker. Like, there's no way they're going to just like go after him. They're going to go after what his insurance company, I guess. Well, no, the trucker is responsible, but his insurance would pay. Because ultimately, if he doesn't have insurance, he personally is responsible. He yeah, caused the yeah. tort. But if you're driving a semi, you have insurance. Hey, hey well, you would hope. Yeah, I'm a commercial. And, and the company, the company probably has insurance. Most of the time, yeah. the trucking company. But if he's an independent trucker dog out there. <laughs> independent trucker dog. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's like an ice road trucker, you know, something well, like that. Explain to me what an independent trucker dog would look like, Joe. Uh, it's like a trucker who looks like Dog the Bounty Hunter. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's it. Okay. Does he have the hat? Flannel shirt? A la Larry the Cable yeah, Guy. Yeah, he looks like Dog the Bounty Hunter, but he's dressed like a trucker with a trucker hat. And that's why they're called trucker hats, because you can't work as a trucker if you don't wear a trucker hat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then he uh, he's wearing no pants. No, okay. Because he makes wants sense. to be comfortable. I he has his catheter in, so he doesn't have to stop. Jesus. <laughs> Him and all the Amazon workers. You know, it seems to me it's like, <laughs> it seems to me like truckers and lumberjacks have a lot of crossover. Feel like you could make like a lumberjack trucker outlet store, and you would probably sell like uh to to both of them. Do uh lumberjacks go to truck stops then? Because they're they're kind of I mean, trucker outlet stores. What do you think lumberjacks you do, do in their CB? free time? Uh, jack lumber? No, they don't jack lumber all the time. They got to stop jacking it eventually. <laughs> I mean, you if, think they're out here just pre-jacking lumber? Just I mean, jacking it, it in their free time. I think every opportunity to jack they have, they're jacking. No, I don't think they jack nearly as much as you think they jack. I mean, they might start carjacking if it really got down to it and they're like, struggling enough. Like you get paid to sit at your desk and, and work on the computer. The last thing you want to do when your day off is sit on your desk and work at your computer. You know, I have that so, problem. I'm like, man, I want to do all these creative things and i'm like i sit at a desk all day in front of my computer i don't want to just get off work and sit in my desk in front <laughs> exactly. of my computer. so there's no way a lumberjack wants to jack it in his free time just keeping it a buck maybe he uh maybe he crochets there you go or maybe you know he needs to go buy flannel shirts because that's what lumberjacks do so i mean so truckers and lumberjacks just shop in their free time they're just like i mean why not yeah shop you know hang out with the kids in their flannel shirts 
Yeah. I feel like they do wear the flannel shirts in their I mean, free time. they probably I think when they get done jacking, the first thing they do is take off their pants and jacket. Yeah. And then So after they're done jacking, they gotta take off their jacket and their pants. Oh, they take off their pants and their jacket in that order. Yeah, they take off their pants and jacket. Fair. This is just a pun that's just going on for way too long. <laughs> it's, just going. This is, it's going on for way too long. <laughs> I apologize. This is, I mean, this, I, is, my, my kinda, my, this is my kind of thing. My dude. grade of comedy is far I just, more, I take more pride in my comedy. I am this. just happy that you humored me this long to keep it going because yeah. this is totally up my alley. I, I also broke cringing. first. I also broke first. Just yeah. keep it in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> you did. I don't even remember what we started talking about. Oh, dildos on the freeway. Yeah. Have you ever been in a car accident on, on, on like the freeway or something? I have spun out on the freeway three times. Dead man's curve. Going. 70 miles an hour survived them all dead man's curve no no okay i uh i spun i hydroplaned in the rain once mm -hmm. i spun out in snow once and mm -hmm. i hit a deer once oh and all three times my car drove away all three times i got out unscathed oh, yeah. i only have six lives left okay for some reason I got lucky as f. That's pretty good. Yeah. I've uh I've been in one car accident um on the that, freeway? Yes, on the freeway. It was crazy too cuz it was raining and I had bald tires because I'm a lazy. Um <laughs> <laughs> I love how you take the accountability though. You're like, yeah, "Hey, because yeah. I'm lazy. Yeah, I'm lazy. I mean, I could get into the fact that I was broke. I, my job didn't pay well enough. I was living by myself. Paying, no, I was. I'm lazy. Um, and I was just coming like on the on ramp, off ramp. I was getting on onto the freeway. Oh, four times. Anyways, go ahead. So I was getting onto the freeway, and like I was going to get over into the fast lane because you know who doesn't drive in the fast lane with brawl tires? And my car spun, and I hit the freaking median, dude. Messed, oh, messed up like only like the side of my car, like the pat, like the driver's side, uh, like the front end driver's side. Yeah, yeah. And my car was in the shop for I don't know, like six months. It ended up getting it didn't cost me a ton. It, ended up, it cost me like fifteen hundred. Yeah, get it fixed, but yeah, yeah. I uh, I also spun out once because I had bald tires uh, in hey. snow, but it was in snow. Like I was, oh, yeah, it was yeah, yeah. it just started snowing before I got off work, so it was like fresh. It wasn't packed yet. Mm -hmm. And I spun out. I went and bought used tires the next day because I was poor. So like I had to go yeah. find used tires with I've more. Definitely been the used tires around. Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, the, the, the first time I spun out in the snow, I hit a guardrail. Uh -huh. This, and then the, the the time I spun out in the rain, I almost went into oncoming traffic, but I stopped. That that was the closest to death I've ever came. And how many boxes of dildos did you have in your car when you got? You uh, should have seen the dildos spray all over the highway. Like when the when the inertia of the spins happened, they just started to, flying to, out the door. You had the spray kind of dildo. No, the, no, it was like the windows opened oh, and the dildos sprayed out. Like, oh, I thought yeah. you had the ones. That yeah, you sprayed. know that gun in Contra. That's what it looked like coming out of my coming out. Coming out of my Contra? car, a Contra <laughs> reference in 2022. Yeah, folks. dude, it's like people, it's like people eating cereal or wait, what, no, eating Jello. That's what we talk callback. Uh, like but yeah, man, like shot. it is. You know, it's crazy. You ever almost died any other times? <laughs> <laughs> Just curious. It's so funny because it's like you could see, like you don't even have to see it. You could hear, you could hear him trying to work in like the next thing to go into. Oh, dude, this segue it's magic. Like, it's crazy how you know you ever die almost or something. <laughs> I mean, it's good, it's good stuff. I love it. That's dude. the close. The, the I almost the spinning out in the rain, almost going into oncoming traffic, was the closest I've came to death. My car stopped on the median of the other side of the freeway. The or not the median, the, the shoulder. I, I've never really felt like I was not in control of my vehicle. Like, I've been out of control, but it's never been like, all right, all right, I'm going to die. It's always been like, all right, let me just make sure I'm safe. Let me make sure I'm good. I'm always calm. The only time I really felt like I was going to die is one time I got into a car with somebody who had been drinking and... Uh, his girlfriend was freaking out because she had to go to the bathroom. Probably told the story before. Girlfriend was freaking out because she had to go to the bathroom. And he was just getting more and more mad because she was just being like uh, verbally disrespectful. Oh, and he was drunk on and, top of it. And she was like pushing him and stuff. He wasn't hitting him or anything. We are in a car full of seven people in a freaking Buick LeSabre because nobody, everybody needed a ride. Seven people, like piled two people sitting on- And then on, she's screaming, being ignorant and sitting like- Sitting on my lap. There's people sitting on my lap next to me and people on the floor at, at my feet. And we're going 135 miles per hour down in the freeway. 
And I seriously, I just looked ahead and I'm calm, calmly to myself. I was like, well, you know what? It's been a good life, I guess. <laughs> right. It's been, it's been, a, it's been a good run. I would have felt that way too. I was so. like, you know, I'm, I'm 28, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> that's long enough, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to the and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yep. Yeah.